Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym Wellness. Today's tip is about consistency. Um, you don't have to make it to the gym. You don't have to put pressure on yourself to make it to the gym, to work out, to whatever, um, every single day of the week. Um, it, it's not about that. It's just the more consistent you are, the more you feel better and, and you know feel more energy and stuff like that. And you feel like, wow, this stuff does work, the more you'll want to come in. Um, you know, and even if there's some days where, or some weeks, you know, that you want to work out five or, you know, six days or four days or whatever, and you can only make it in one or two days or even three days, whatever, at least you're making it in. So the thing is, when you don't make the attempt to come into the gym or to go to the school to walk around the track or to go to the park and walk around that track or you know pop the DVD in, when you stop making that a consistent part of your life, that's when you stop making the healthier choices food-wise, the healthier choices with exercise. Um, you know, you, you kind of put that on, on the back burner. So, you know, even if it's just one day this week that you can make it in, one day is better than nothing, you know, and you, you, you're getting that in there. And I've said it before, when you work out, you're releasing those endorphins, you know, to, to stress release, you know, and, and all that stuff. So it, all in all, even one day helps. You know, one day can turn into two days, and two days can turn into three days, and sometimes you're going to go fall back and do a one day, you know, but at least if you if you just make the workout and, um, you know, proper food, food thought, proper food thought, <laughs> Pennsylvania Dutch, so sometimes I get my words backwards, um, if you just make, the, you know, the proper thoughts and the conscious thoughts and the consistent thoughts of being more healthier, drinking more more water, eating more you know lean proteins, eating more you know fruits and veggies and salads and stuff like that. You don't have to like go excuse my French balls to the wall, you, you know, and and do everything, you know, and 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 at least not everything all at once, you know. Work up to process. This is a lifestyle consistency. You know, a lifestyle commitment, a lifestyle change. It's it's not you know a one and done. It's not anything like that. It should be a lifestyle, and just be more consistent with the healthier things, and those will just it, it'll continually trickle down. The more you do things that make you feel better, the more you'll do things that make you feel better. You know what I mean? So I mean, even if that's you know smiling holding the door for someone you know just just you know paying it forward in in like nice gestures like that the more you see oh wow i just made that person's day by smiling at them or you know they said that i was the first person that smiled at them all day or i was the first person that held the door open for them all day or whatever it might be you're like oh you know and so the more you get that feedback the more you do it the more you know you want to do nice things for people same thing with working out Everything with working out, with life, with job, you know, everything can be all, you know, like all inclusive. If you look at it at, at a certain at a certain way, um, everything feeds off of itself. Um, you, you know, paying it forward, the, the the results that you get from paying it forward, you know, you can use those things and those analogies in working out. Just like with, um, you know, a lot of times when I do meal plans for people, you know, I use analogies of, you know, if you bought a Lamborghini and you put, you know, shit gas in it, it's going to drive shitty. If you want the Lamborghini, you spend all the money on the Lamborghini, you should want to drive and, and make the Lamborghini perform as a Lamborghini. So, same thing with your body. If your body is a well-oiled machine and you feed it the proper fuel, it's going to run like a well-oiled machine. If you don't feed it the proper fuel, it's not going to run as a well-oiled machine. It's going to be rusty. The arthritis is going to kick in, you know. You know, so like all those things, all those analogies can be switched around. Um, just like when I say about, you know, you know, when you go to work, you know, if you skip a day of work, does that mean you're out for the rest of the week just because you know you fell off the wagon? No. 
you have to go back to work. You know, yeah, you called out sick today because you just wanted to take a mental health day, but the next day you go back to work. Why? Because you get paid. Same thing with here with the, with the, with the gym or with working out, period, with DVDs at home. You know, you get paid. It might not be monetarily, but you get paid. So any analogy you can think for, you know, working out or paying it forward or going to job, going to the job, um, getting paid at the job, you can use the analogies for working out, making healthier choices, that kind of thing. The thing is, with you know, with your job, you're not going to move ahead if you don't stay consistent. You know, you're not going to you know have a, you know a great you know car you know and running great if you don't stay consistent with it you have to stay consistent with things so with your health with eating with working out you have to stay consistent like I said you don't have to go balls to the wall and, and eat you know like strict every single day of the week or whatever but if the more you stay consistent with working out and eating proper uh, or making those healthier, proper choices, um, the more you're going to want to, and the more you'll, you know, because the more you'll see those results, the more you'll want those results. So consistency is key. So let's try and think about how we can stay consistent. If you want to work five, work out five days a week, that's great. If you only do three days this week and only do two days next week and only do one the next day or the next week and then go back to three or four the next week, at least you get in the gym or get working out and you're staying consistent in some way shape or form you're not dropping off of the planet with the working out with the you know with the proper nutrition stay consistent keep those consistent thoughts keep those healthy thoughts and the more and more it will trickle down and you'll do and you'll want to do more and more consistency that's the key going to be the word of the day consistency so stay tuned stay informed stay motivated Stay consistent. Bye.